Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about the Mage's Guild and whether or not it's really worth it to complete the Mage's Guild in its entirety. So the Mage's Guild is, um, it's a weirdish kind of guild to where you have to go to every guild hall and complete a task to then join the Mage's Guild, which seems pretty easy. It's actually quite boring. The tasks are very, how do I say it, dumb. You have to like, do this whole walk down the road and then get attacked by someone. You swim around in a well and grab something. Find a stolen book that is within, like you do a whole quest inside of a mage's guild hall. So, very boring tasks that don't mean a lot. There's one where you kind of raid a fort and then get attacked by a bunch of people. It's kind of cool. but. The real value of the Mage's Guild comes when you join the Arcane University. Which, you first you get a staff, a Mage's Staff, which you can put um, a bunch of different things on. Like, you only get one, but like for me, I prefer the Staff of Paralysis, because you can just paralyze someone. Or flames, or something, you know, if you want damage. You get access to spellcrafting, enchanting, a bunch of, I believe there's a bunch of soul gems in the Arcane University. Like, if you join the Mage's Guild, there's just a bunch of soul gems you can get. All the alchemists. And there's a freaking botanical garden. There's, like, I think pretty much every alchemy ingredient inside the Arcane University that's a plant. And you get access, I mean, you get access to them anyways, but you get, you have access to the mages that sell spell things like Raminus Polis. So really, very, very cool. And then you get some mage's robes throughout the, the, you know, quest line, and then eventually you become the Archmage, and you get a chest, which once a week, you can put one in ingredient in there. I don't know if it works with Nern Roots. I don't think it does. But one alchemy ingredient in there, and it dupes ten of them. And that's really what it does. So for me, completing the Mage's Guild, you get a cool staff out of it that you can raise a dead body, which I guess is cool. They just made that a spell in Skyrim. But the real value comes from just being a part of the university. Like, the whole rest of the quests, like, really don't do too, too much to, like, your stats, other than you get access to the mate, like, the Archmage's Quarters, which just means you can spellcraft, and, well, you can spellcraft, and you can enchant, they're all in one location. But the real value comes from all the plants, the spellcrafting, the special staff, and the enchanting that you are allowed to do. You know, you can't do it any other way unless you mod in a spellcraft station somewhere in the world. And it's amazing what you can do. You can make custom spells, which help entirely with whatever build, period, whatever build you're doing in Oblivion. If you want it to be good, you need to include magic somewhere, so you already have access to that. And you can make custom enchants to items. So you don't have to sit there and raid 50 million Oblivion Gates to get the thing you want. Now the Sigil Stone enchantments will always be better, but it's still something to think about that you have access to a custom enchantment. And my opinion with this whole thing is I think the Mage's Guild is not worth it to complete, but it is worth it to get to the Arcane University really at some point for your character. For the soul craft, or the, not the soul crafting, the spell crafting, you know, the items and that stuff. You also, if you're a noob and you don't want to use the internet, you get access to a list of locations to where you can craft black soul gems if you want to. Which, they're illegal, which I don't understand why you can just use them in the spell craft stations, the soul gems are illegal, but, you know, whatever. And it's really just... The perks you get from being part of the university are awesome. You do at some point get a necklace that has spell absorption, which can really help with the Atronach. So if you're an Atronach, getting that amulet is extremely important. That's just something to take into consideration. And that's really it, guys. You know, you get some cool robes, but I don't like robes because they take your shirt and your pants slot. I would much rather have a shirt on and then pants, so you have two separate enchantments. But let me know what you think of the Mage's Guild in the comments below. Do you like to complete it? Do you like having that ingredient chest? I don't like it because you can just buy most ingredients from these stores anyways, and you're gonna be making a bunch of money in the game. So I really don't see a use in the ingredient chest, period, really. I don't see a use in the ingredients chest. But that's it for this video. 
I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post, or whatever I decide to make.